Hey y'all, it's Jeff, no doubt, with another Real Physics Pro tip. In this video, I'll be talking about writing down an IFR clearance using the Craft or TV Ads format. When you're departing a towered airport on an IFR flight plan, the clearance delivery controller will issue you a pre-taxi clearance after your initial call-up. This call-up must be made no more than 10 minutes before the proposed taxi time. The purpose of this video is to get you familiar with the process of receiving, noting, and reading back that IFR clearance. All right. Let's kick the tires and light the fires. Before we get our IFR clearance, we need to prepare to write it down. I use a sheet of paper with the acronym TV ADS written vertically down the bottom left side as shown here and leave the space above this to write down the current ATIS information. Let's start out by picking up the current ATIS. Valdosta Airport Information Delta, time 1253 Zulu, wind 180 at 10, visibility 10, sky conditions few clouds at 2800, temperature 28, dew point 23, altimeter 29, 9 or 2, visual and RNAV approach runway 17 in use, landing and departing runway 17, VFR aircraft say direction of flight, all aircraft read back hold short instructions, advise control on initial contact, you have information Delta. Now that we have the ATIS, let's call up clearance delivery using the format who we're calling, who we are, where we are, and what we want. Found us to clearance, Skyhawk 1234 Alpha at the Northeast GA ramp with Delta Instruments, Jacksonville. We use the term instruments, or IFR, to tell the controller that we want to activate our IFR flight plan. The controller will usually be ready with your flight plan, or they'll give you the advisory. Skyhawk 1234 Alpha, Valdosta clearance, clearance on request, standby. This transmission requires no reply from you, just wait for them to finish drinking their coffee and checking their computer. If the controller gave you this advisory, your next message will sound like, Skyhawk 1234 Alpha, I have your clearance. Advise when ready to copy. You can say, Ready to copy Skyhawk 1234 Alpha. At this point, we should have pencil in hand and be ready to copy our clearance. We'll populate the TV ADS acronym list as the controller gives us our clearance. The TV ADS acronym stands for To Via Altitude Departure Squawk. If you prefer, you can use the CRAFT acronym, which stands for Clearance Limit, Route, Altitude, Frequency, and Transponder. I prefer TV ads because it helps more with the readback. Skyhawk 1234 Alpha, clear to the Jacksonville Airport via Direct Tailor. Maintain 3,000. Expect 4,000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 135.4, squawk 5501. And that's all there is to it. The last step is to read back a clearance to the controller so that he can make sure you heard it right. Since you've written it down right in front of you, this will be easy. Skyhawk 1234 Alpha, clear to the Jacksonville Airport via direct Taylor. Maintain 3,000. Expect 4,000. One zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 135.4. Squawk 5501. The controller will say. Skyhawk 1234 Alpha. Read back correct. Ground point 7. Good day. And to give you further instructions for departure. You should edit the clearance on your paper to account for mismatches between your initial filed flight plan and the flight plan just given to you by the controller if need be. Then you should enter critical information from the clearance such as routing, altitude, frequencies, and transponder code into the appropriate aircraft systems. Now you're all set and ready to go fly IFR. Well that's it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comments section below. 
If you enjoyed this video, consider liking our Facebook page and subscribing to RealFSX for more videos like this from the RealFSX Palette Instructor team. With RealFSX.org, I'm Jeff, and I'll see you in the wild blue yonder.